Oh, hey everybody. Just out here in our pen with a bunch of freshly weaned cows. Just checking the bunks. Man, they've got it pretty well cleaned up. This is the group we weaned just a couple days ago. And this is, uh, this will be the third day, I believe. Maybe fourth day that they've been weaned. I've been trying to spend some time with them. So they, uh, so they get used to people talking really quiet because I'm obviously trying to not scare them. We're out here just checking the bunks. I know uh, someone asked if we feed any cattle, and we do. Mostly our own. Got three other pens of cattle over over here. There. This is a different, a newer pen we built. These calves, are, most of them are the plan. We're just gonna background them for a while and <clears throat> get them on their merry way, I guess. But as you can tell, the, the ballins died down substantially. And, uh, yeah, things are, things are looking good for these guys. I don't see anything that's sick or nothing, so. But if I'm around when we feed, I'll maybe come out and try to show you guys feeding them and stuff, but we'll kind of play that by ear, but. All right, we'll kind of catch you guys up on the next part here, but so far they're looking, said so I don't see anything that's sick, so. I've been out here a while trying to calm, calm them down to my voice so I didn't scare them when I was talking. But, they look pretty good. I know they're little, but these are the later calves. These are, these are later calves. For most of them are purposely later calves. Kevin on pasture. Not all of them though, there's a few that are late, but most of them are just purposely calved later. Yeah, as you can see, the bunks are cleaned up, so I guess we'll adjust the feed program to maybe give them a little bit more, and you guys will uh, catch up on the next part. Well, here we are. We're going up to load the feed for the calves we just weaned. I went and made a little video before. I'll probably try to shorten that one up before I fed them and now I'm uh, gonna do a, or, you know, I'm reading bunks basically on the first part. Checking them over and now I'm gonna load the feed. I'm a little rusty with this tractor. I don't use this tractor very often to load feed but uh, Pull one payloader is loading hay in a field, and the other payloader my dad is using for other things. But anyhow, I'm gonna try to set you guys up. I don't know how it'll turn out. I gotta use my phone through the performance beef. And here's that, I got my load. It's 20. That says you hit delivery, no, you hit load. And you can see the screens, the screens locks. So I'm gonna change it to the corn at the bottom. That's my ingredients, by the way, if it matters to anybody. I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna unlock the screen. It shows that it's in the deal and we're gonna go ahead and load it. Um, I'm gonna try to set you up on the, but anyhow. Um, use a payloader way more often than I use a tractor. This tractor actually is normally at my brother's to feed his cows. His cows aren't always here. They're very seldom here. He calves at a different time than we do, which is why his calves are the ones we just weaned. we can get her loaded without too much difficulty. 
Said I'm used to the payloader, so I guess you're gonna have to bear with me. You can see my phone down there. I'm gonna go to the distillers now. We're gonna go dump the corn out. Wow, these tractors way tippier than the, than the old payloader. I am not used to that at all. I know I kind of kind of spoiled with the old payloaders. I thought it was pretty awesome when we got this tractor to feed with. Well, actually, I thought it was pretty awesome when I was little when we got our first front wheel assist tractor. And I actually had a loader instead of a farmhand. I'm gonna set that there so maybe it'd be easier to show. And I always like to make sure I have plenty of stuff in my bucket. I hate running out. Um, you know, having to go back for another 20 pounds or something stupid. So I always do my best to make sure I have plenty in the bucket, but I don't know, like I said, today we're, we're a rookie with this tractor. I haven't loaded this tractor for a long time. See, we're over the feed wagon. I normally have a mount in our payloader. We have a mount I can put my phone on or the iPad. I use, use the iPad way more than I use my phone, but it's just convenient today. I didn't feel like going to get the iPad out of the house, so I just said I'm gonna just load it with this phone, which is handy. You don't have to go get the iPad. Oh, we got 10 pounds too much. Nope, oh, we're good. I'll go to ground hay. Well, we gotta dump the distillers that we have left out. Wow, I am not used to this tractor at all. Another cool thing with the performance beef, you know, the basically the scale is Bluetooth, so I can read it from either side of the wagon. I don't have to turn the scale head on the tractor or nothing a certain way. You can load some from one side and some from the other side. And uh, man, it's been uh, anyone feeding very many cattle without it. I highly suggest checking it out. It doesn't really cost that much in the whole scheme of things on a cattle operation um, and it's been so much better to keep track of things and watch our dollars and cents with our own cattle um, and we do have three different owners of cattle on this place normally and at some point we'll maybe have some more but um, as of right now there's at least three different owners See if I could actually get it right today. Yesterday I had way too much hay dumped in. My dad actually does most of the feeding. I do a lot of the combining and harvest type activities. And well, that wasn't very much hay. We're gonna have to go get more. But anyhow, you guys get the picture. I'm gonna get this loaded up and I'll probably try to show unloading it as well. So, I'll see you guys on the next part. All right, well, we're done loading. You can see it's loaded. And I'm gonna just jump up there and show you guys the mix in a little bit. By the way, I love, 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 love watching feed mix. This is our starter ration. It's fairly wet, it's got quite a bit of silage in it. With our corn silage, it doesn't need near as much, uh, doesn't need near as much corn as it does when we just use cane silage. The energy in our corn silage is a lot better, but see there's plenty of room, we can fit a lot more in. Um, at some point we're gonna get, uh, we got the 
two pins right there. We're gonna actually bump them up and start moving them up to a more of a more corn, more energy in their rash. And we got the this pen that we're feeding now and another pen. They've got some smaller animals in it that we're gonna feed. We're gonna try to grow them a little bit longer before we step them up too much more. Um, so we'll we'll catch you guys up here in a few minutes when we get down and get uh, get into the pen and we'll feed them. Too. girl it's uh, nice having people in your life that want to be in your life and want to help when they are needed she's one of them people turn the old PTO on come on cabbies Come on, boys and girls. This is a mixed pen of cattle right now. I'm trying to watch it, I'm running something over. But I'm glad you know they're not running when I pull in here and making a dust storm and stuff. You know, they're pretty calm. That one has the squirts a little. That one decided to jump over the bunk. hit the unlock button and then I start feeding. So since this is a mixed pen of cattle, the performance beef program keeps track of how much they're eating um, per pen and then divides that all out between all the different owners in this pen actually three different owners in this pen currently and uh, and that really helps keeping the feed program right or the feed amounts right and the bills all right granted it's all family but you know to be honest most of the time in family things it gets uglier than uh, than a lot of the non-family things put a little bit more feed in the south side on these bunks which is this side just because they're the, the moms are just on the south and they do hang on the south side a little bit more than the north side um, once the calves are fully weaned they you know won't matter they'll uh, they'll go to both sides or whatever just as equally because then they'll be after the feed and not not hanging out towards their mamas get done feeding them here I'll walk through them again with you guys and show them this probably will be a long video I'll see how it does I know most people don't like to watch the long videos but you can see it's showing I've got 160 pounds left or whatever too much in the first set of bunks on the north side. I won't get feed in every bunk on this side, but it'll be okay. Alright, well the wagon's empty. I hit confirm. I'll go back to the overview and you can see it's fed. It shows all the ingredients that were dumped into that load. And yeah, so that one's done. A lot of them you can see they went up to the bunks over here I'm gonna try to spread them out they haven't quite figured out how to spread out yet themselves you can see their mamas are right there a lot of them so 
That's why we. Come on, guys, spread out. You guys got plenty of bunk space here, boys. Let's kind of move down. Well, I guess that didn't work, but hopefully they get the picture. As you can see, there's pretty good corn. It's a balanced diet. Looking good. If I, if I was a cow, I'd probably eat it. it smells awful good. All right, well, you guys, we'll get the gate shut up. I said this would be a long video. Well, let, me know, let me know if you guys like the long ones or rather keep them short. And uh, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace out, Girl Scouts.